Hey guys, it's Ellen here. Welcome to my channel. Today it's postcard day again and we're painting some autumn saltwater marshes, uh, New England, kind of from my area. I'll give you some reference links in the description box and of course I go over all my supplies and paints there too. Um, don't forget, forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. Also don't forget to check out my Patreon, it's in the description box. Uh, there's a link there. I have exclusive tutorials and PDF downloads, downloads there weekly on Thursdays. It's a great place um, to go if you want some added bonus content and it, um, it supports my channel, which I appreciate so much. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so first I'll go over supplies that I have. Uh, so it's I, I basically tore a piece of uh, Arches 100% cotton paper uh, into a postcard size, which is like four by six. I taped it down with scotch tape on a piece of cardboard. Um, I like the scotch tape because it gives a nice clean line. Sometimes the other tapes, like the painter's tapes and was washi tapes kind of peel up and they're not, they're not very sticky. And so they, the paint can get underneath it and I don't like that, so. Paper towels, water jars, I can, and my paints, they're always in the description box um, below. And today I'm gonna put, give you some reference uh, links. I, I just printed them out on my a uh, piece of paper here. Just, I mean, they're not going to be exact, but it's just going to be a feeling. I'm, I really like the uh, the marshes in the, my area um, this time of year. It's really pretty. I had a painting, a picture that my friend had took uh, in a marsh recently that was kind of more in the green tones, but still, um, I can't really link that on YouTube. So I am going to link actual links. <laughs> and these are royalty-free images, but we're going to use them as reference. So. It won't be exact. Um, you know, they both have those, those uh, what's the word? Yellow ochre tones to the marsh and some nice blue skies. I'm not gonna follow exactly that, but it's just gonna give me an, an idea. So I'm gonna grab my Grumbacker 10 brush and I'm gonna do wet on dry. So I'm not gonna do wet on wet in this one, in the beginning. So I have this Prussian blue here I'm just mixing it up. If you can see this, make sure you can see this a little bit. Sorry, my lighting can go fluctuate sometimes. There we go. Just want to make sure you can see it. Okay. Um, so it's getting pretty watery. I'm going to wash in some of the sky. And like I said, it, it doesn't have to be this color. I mean, you can grab some of this peacock. It's a little brighter because that, that picture has a little brighter blue, but you know, you can make whatever you want. And I'm just, see, I'm just going across like this, leaving some of the white, which would be clouds. Just going across. See, I put some water on that and it's getting lighter coming down, right down to the edge. I like the uh, depression better than the peacock for this. I might actually go and add a little bit of black to make it grayer. I want my sky to be not as bright and vibrant as the photograph, a little more muted. All right, so we got that tonality in there, just the sky. Like I said, you don't have to, f I'm not really going to follow the picture. I'm just using it as a reference. You take, sometimes you take some pictures and you, you just look at them like, okay. And again, I'll show you a trick for clouds. If you, too much paint, you're like, oh, I don't have any white for clouds. You take the paper towel, you scrunch it up. And you can go in and just pick up some of that paint pretty quickly though. You gotta do this pretty quickly. And you can make your clouds just like that. That's simple. All right, we're gonna start hitting down here. Um, I think I'll do the blue area. It's gonna get a little brighter. I have this peacock blue over here. And I sketched in some of the areas want a little bit brighter where I want the salt water part to go. And 
and it's very light so I just want to kind of like give me a guide and like I said I'm kind of following the picture but not exact it's just kind of doing my thing see you can hear that the wet on dry just filling in some of these areas here All right, we got the blues in there. We're gonna mix up a color of that marsh color. It's the yellow ochre. If you have a yellow color, then you can kind of just use that. Or you could take, I have a Cabin Yellow Deep, grabbing some Van Dyke Brown. Grab a little bit of this brilliant orange. More of this orange. So you get a mixture of like oranges, yellows, browns, some really deep greens in that picture. I have an olive green over here. You know, just a um, little trick. So you can take your picture. If you have a scrap of this paper that you're gonna be using, just put a little color here and then go up to the picture that you have to match it. And you can say, oh, that's, if you want it to be really co true colors, that is, um, too yellow so you would go in and add either magenta like a little red magenta carmine some orange a little more brown and then you go and paint it again you see of course it's watercolor but you see that tonality looks closer to the picture right than the yellow one that's how it kind of works it's a little trick of the trade <laughs> But you don't have to follow that. And really, if you look at the marshes, they're a mixture of yellows and that color. So I've got some yellow I just pushed out here, a little of that watery yellow. And I'm gonna th just start putting in. Just in those areas that will have the marsh. And then I'll be adding in that orangey color and some browns. So I'm just washing in this yellow color first. Just like so. Don't get um, bogged down if you're going over the blue. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're just gonna go over here and wash this yellow in real quickly. Even up over here, I'll grab some of that yellow orange, just across like you see in the picture. And then a little brown. Do, 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 do. That's the marsh far away. And now we can start adding in some of the browns and the oranges. So you've got that orangey yellow color. Go back and make that again. I kind of, you kind of want to make up a lot of paint if you're going to use the same color a lot. So I'm mixing this paint up again. Here we go. Ooh. You just wash it. Oh, that got a little too orangey. That's okay. Go add some brown in there. I'm going to keep adding in some of these tones. And you can go in and add some Van Dyke Brown. See there's some dark tones back here where the, it's going to meet with the, the trees. And then, then there's some deep dark brown tones here, kind of where the marsh is meeting the, the water. A little green too. So you grab some of that olive green and just put it right in there. Different tonalities. Just like this. We're getting there. Grab some more of that brown. So this is fairly wet, so it's gonna have this nice lead to it. And get some more of that green. Because when you look at the picture, it's not like one flat color. So you wanna do a bunch of different colors. 
and it's damp now so it has a nice bleed but it still kind of keeps the color there so going back and grabbing some of this orange yellow putting it back in there just gonna keep doing this and then um, we're gonna wisp out like some of the um, full, well not foliage le not leaves but the grass from the marsh kind of you can see in the photograph it's like a little darker down here right in here I'm adding some Van Dyke Brown a little more out here grabbing some more of this orange yellow color again Oops. I don't know why lighting is acting weird. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe a spirit's trying to say hello. <laughs> it is Halloween, after all. Okay, so you see how I added some, like, reddish colors? You know, obviously it's autumn. We're going to be adding these colors in. And some yellow tones. Just keep playing around with doing this, you know. And while it's still a little wet, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush tip. And put a little more yellow out here. Before I do that though, I wanna add a little more blues. I wanna brighten this blue up. It's just so really flat. So I'm gonna grab some of this Peacock Prussian. I'm gonna mix them together. Gonna add a little black. Water it down. I tap it on my paper towel. I'm gonna, gonna just wash in some deeper blue in here. It was looking just a little too flat. This one's fine, maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, just a little touch. There we go. Okay, so get that blue going. And I take, I have a, a Princeton 8 long round brush. I love it because of the tip. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this has got a great tip. Going to grab some of this Van Dyke brown. And we're just going to grab some of the brown and a little green too. Make these little marks going down. See that like that? Just like that with the sound effects. Choo, choo, choo. See that? Well, it's still damp. And you really don't want to have much water in the color that I'm using. See, this brown going into that blue. It's going to give it that fuzzy, marshy kind of look. And I go up in here. Just like that. Just in like the darker areas of the marsh. Grab a little dark, go over this way like that. Oh my goodness, the light is out of control. And then you can whisk some up like here on the bottom edge. Just like that. You can grab a little black, get in there so it's a little bit darker too. Not too much, you don't want it super dark. Um, making like a nice deep orange actually have the brilliant orange here so not like that's really bright and we don't want really want it that bright we want to tone it down so grab some orange and some Van Dyke brown so you get that again not too much water and we'll wisp up some of this color have some of that yellow see just doing these little wisps wisps and then we can go back in, grab them, put some water on it, and then go in, add some colors again. You want to keep the colors, don't want it to be flat. So while this is kind of drying, it's getting, it's damp in some areas and wet in some areas, you can start to throw in some more color like that. Okay, let's well, gonna work up on the 
the tree area. Obviously green, so we got the olive green. This is really deep greens. The mixture of a couple of them, so I have some pretty olive green I'll put in just going across like this. And again, I'm not going to follow the picture to the T, but I'm just going to take the tip of my brush, go across. There's a tree, a couple of little skinny trees. Just put them like that. Just a line down, just think these little lines going across, and you got those little trees. See? I don't want to get too technical on how it's supposed to look. So now I'm just going to wash in some greenery like this. And it's more of a deep green, so I'm going to add a little Prussian blue. And you get that deep bluish green color. Kind of a touch of black in there too. Or some Van Dyke brown. And now I bled a little too much because it was wet. So I'm lifting up some of the paint. Get that later green going back in there. But it's just like a little island that's over there. You don't have to get too technical. Put in some more top trees if you want. Just like that. With the tip of your brush. See, I took this darker brown green going here with that little island, you see. Just keep tweaking it until you're satisfied and how it looks. And you can see in the photograph there's some various tones of brown, deep greens going across up here. That got a little too greeny. That's some brown. I might have to lift up that green. Got a little too out of hand. I'm going to go over it with that orange. There we go. And the yellow. Grab some more yellow. So that's pretty much it. I mean, we don't want to get too serious. It's just a simple postcard. So that will be the first one, which I think came out pretty nice. And we're going to move on to the second one. Actually, I didn't uh, tape up when I was talking to you, so let's just do that. To get the reveal. Well, see how this <laughs> just flips up the cardboard, but it doesn't rip up the picture. <laughs> but I think it's really pretty. Voila! And now I will tape down another one. I have a little blemish here, so I'm going to use to my advantage. I'm going to do that part in the bottom. So tape this down. And like I said, don't worry if it doesn't look exactly. See, my picture doesn't look exactly like the photograph. You're just looking at it for a reference. Now this one, the second one, uh, again, you might want to sketch out, I see that, um, you know, going across here, like a little more than a quarter down, and it has it totally going across with the little houses and whatnot, then a marsh, so it's a little right there, it's a marsh, not all the way across, island, and then you see another marsh, there's a little marsh here. Now I'm thinking, there's a lot of water I'm seeing in this one, I don't want that. So I'm gonna erase that. I want, my, I want more of a marsh. So I'm gonna make that little island here and show the water less. And then we have a little bit of water in here. Okay. Same kind of way we did the first one. Um, this one has the clouds a little bit different. So going to go and on this one, I'm going to water that whole top section. So we're going to do a little different. Take the brush, the Grumbacker, 
I'll do a little wet on wet here. So water that. And we grab our blues. I'm mixing the two of these colors. It's kind of fun. That's going to be pretty bright. So I've gone in and added another color. Okay. And you see there's some clouds up here. They look a little more purpley, so I'm going to add a little magenta. Yeah, because that purpley blue, like ultramarine, has more red in it than some of the other colors. And I'm going to wash in this blue. It's kind of like a purple or a periwinkle. And you can go in and add some really pale pinks if you want. Just a little bit. Not too much. It has a, like, a little bit of that in there. Some deeper tones coming across here and up here. Like I said, I'm not going to get too involved with like if the if the clouds look right, if this doesn't look right, we're just gonna play around. Oops. Adding some of that peacock blue, just brightened it up. If you want to look at the reference and go to town, I'm like how it looks with the clouds. I'm gonna uh, take a little bit of this with the paper towel. I love the paper towel to make clouds. <laughs> so easy. It makes your life kind of easy. All right, so we've got the clouds there. Voila. Now we're going to wash in, again, the uh, water. So, putting that water here. Just like that. It goes all the way across. Like I said, I'm making mine a little skinnier than the picture. And then there's some water down in here. I'm doing wet on dry. More blue. That's a little too bright. Just wash that out a little bit. Obviously, you know it's water at that point. Okay, so we got those in. Now we're going to do those same fun colors that we did before. So it's good to mix up. If you have like a bigger palette, I'm showing the small one because it's it can fit into the camera. Then you mix up a lot of it, and you have your colors ready to go. Let's see, wash in that yellow. Right now, since that blue is pretty close, it's going to turn into green, so just be careful. I'm not getting it in there too much. But we're going to just wash in, just like I did before. There's yellows. I'm going to try and move faster this time. Woohoo! Yellows first. Got nice. Little island here. The land way back here. And we got the Van Dyke Browns. There's a lot of browns in this one. Just going like this. There's a brown. To the island here. And I've got that orange color. So I have the brilliant orange mixed with some of that yellow and the Van Dyke brown. Throwing that in there. A lot of bright orange you see in the photograph. And here, way back, way, way, way back. There was some water connected to it way back here, but mine got kind of washed out. But that's okay. I don't 
mind. And this is more like brown back here. Brown, gray. Like I said, you don't have to follow to the T. It's just an inspiration. And then you can kind of just go from there. See, I'm adding in more of the brown. Gonna add some greens down here. Some nice green in the front. Got that olive green. I mix it with some of that brown. And there's some really dark browns down here and greens. Get even darker. And there's some darker colors, really deep dark colors going in some of these areas. And like the first one by the marsh. And we're going to use the same technique with the um, the brush, doing those little grasses, really simple. So I'm grabbing in some concentrated watercolor right here, just barely any water. Just going in here, dabbing that, dabbing the orange, we're getting what we need. Okay, I take that skinny brush I get, the Princeton 8 long round, and I go in and I grab the orange and black mixture, and I'm going to just wash down. Now this got wet, I mean dry, excuse me. So I can go back in, and just take some blue or some water, just go in here, wet it, because I want to use it to my advantage. I'm going to grab a little blue. some out here too. Kind of got washed out. Okay, let me take the tip of the brush with the concentrated watercolor like we did before. I'm mixing brown and black. And we're just going to go down and we'll create those fuzzy grass lines. The more concentrated, it will stick. It will stay kind of like true to form, but have that fuzzier look. Grabbing some other colors in here. So I'm just gonna go push it down. Grab some black. Black and brown. Push it down. <laughs> that rhymed and then push it up on this side. You get that fuzzy, the fuzzy thing. Put a little green in here. So the same thing um, on the bottom, just going up again, just taking your brush, wisping up those grasses that you see in marshes and mixing, um, very little water with the paint. And just keep going like that. You don't want too much of it. It will look monotonous and not like more of that sweet, soft, abstract kind of look that we kind of go for. So now here I'm going to tweak, just adding in some deeper tones and yellow tones up in here. I don't want to get too crazy. And dark one here. I'm just going to keep tweaking it, adding in some deeper tones here and there. So you get real dark down here in the foreground. I think I like that. Oh, my lighting is really fickle today. I don't know what the deal is. All right, so I like that. It's a little wet, but we can take it up anyway and reveal the card. And like I said, you can go in and add deeper clouds and whatnot, but this is what we're doing today. And let's see if I can lift this up for you guys. How much I'll tear up the <laughs> cardboard. Oh my 
See how I paint live? I know. I'm a real person. I'm not some crazy voiceover lady. <laughs> oh, just ripped up all the cardboard. Isn't that fun? And there we go. Look at that. How beautiful is that? These Cape Cod salt marshes. Um, I just love it this time of year around here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification button because you know I'm sporadic with my tutorials. I'm sorry. I wish I could be one of those people that can, you know, <laughs> dedicate their time to making sure everything's on time, but that's just not how my life goes. Um, also, please don't ch check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials there weekly uh, and traceable downloads. That's for people who go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. I appreciate all my Patreons. Um, you know, um, it's just another way people can support my channel. And uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Take care and I'll speak to you soon and stay safe.